gonna fly The beast is awake, orange, black and white Cause when the jungle come alive Who day we ignite and I Cincinnati, we gon' rise and I In the jungle, we unite and I Drippin' orange and black and white Who day when we fight Live and die and destroy Wake up the beast, every end day is a feast Time to bust it off the leash In the jungle, drippin' heat Tigers strike the city streets East side, stand up West side, stand up If you weapon, who they? Time to put your hands up Bingo stripes, we in it New day, new age, yeah, we get it Cincinnati, jungle, fit it Who they in our house, we win it Orange and black and white, we build it Earn our stripes, you know we kill it Bleed our colors, jungle, drippin' Nasty, natty, yeah, we live it Lit the crowd, get the city loud Yeah, we feastin' now Fit the bounce, make the city howl Now we beastin' now Thunder through the tunnel from the sideline to the huddle Strikes we tatted on the jungle when we flex that Who they muscle on them? Strikes! Cincinnati, we gon' rise and up In the jungle, we unite and up Drippin' orange and black and white Who day when we fight? When they die in these strikes uh. Strikes! Now who gotta move like it on? What's going on? Welcome to the show. This is Sports with Strawberry Ice. I'm your host, the Iceman, Jeff Trunapole. And as always, I'm bringing you sports from a west side point of view right here in the great city of Cincinnati, Ohio. Home, Jackpot, Joey Burrow, and the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals. Now do me a favor. If you found the show, hit that like and subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. I'm up to 1,729 subscribers. That is awesome. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Now, if you're watching me on Facebook or Twitter and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, why not? Please do so. Please go to the YouTube channel, Sports with Strawberry Ice. Hit the subscription button. Hit the bell for the notification. And every time I go live, you'll be notified. And exclusively in the YouTube chat crew, we're doing Super Chats. So if you like to support what I'm doing or make sure your comment gets read from your Super Chat, I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, I'm coming to you live from the Ice Cave. And the Ice Cave is brought to you by T-Properties. T-Properties, quality housing for quality people. Check out their website at www.tpropertiesllc.com for all your rental property management needs and your rental needs. All right, guys. I know. I know. I haven't been on live as much as I normally am. Usually, it's like clockwork every day at 530. But... As you guys, if you, if you follow me on Twitter or anything like that, you know I've been working on my house. I got this big old deck I'm building. I got some other home improvements I've been doing down here. And I'm about to go on vacation again, so I got a lot of stuff going on. So I just have not been able to get on my show lately as much as I normally do. My apologies, but like I said, it's just me. I, I, I'm the only one that runs the show. <laughs> so I thank you for bearing with me and uh, joining me when I do join or do do the show but what's up to everybody in the chat here stranger hoss crypt keeper john wick Lindsay, crown nicholas what's up everybody what's up how you guys doing anyway now normally during the season after the Bengals game the next day me and cap usually get together and we discuss the game what happened what we liked we didn't like what happened in the stands you know we saw drones flying in the stadium or whatever happened you know we talk about during the game well, we haven't been able to do that in, since uh, February. And I know people have messaged Cap and people have messaged me like, hey, you guys ever going to get back on the show sometime? I said, you know what? That's a great idea. So I called him last night and said, hey, you busy? He goes, no. Said, you want to come on the show? He goes, yeah, I guess so. So, <laughs> Bengals Cap is back. Here he is. Cap, what is up with the Joe Burrow 
glasses. I like it. Can you see? Yes. <laughs> Ice man, is that you? Yes, buddy. How are you? It's been 80 years. How you been? It's been so long. I've missed you. <laughs> I broke a hip. I've been great. <laughs> How'd you break a hip? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I just want to say, no, I did not tell you I was not busy. I am swamped, but for you, I will make yeah. time. I know you are busy. I'm bit, dude, I'm busy too, but I'm not busy like you're busy, but we're, we've been really busy. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not working on a big deck, but no, uh, no, no. I've got lots to do. Yeah, we're trying to get all this stuff out of the way so we have time to, you know, enjoy football season when when it uh it comes back. And exactly. I don't know about you, but I'm, to do the same thing. Yeah, I'm jo- I'm joining for some football. I'm 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 very excited about this team. I'm very excited about what they did in the offseason, what we got coming up, the schedule, all kinds of stuff. So what do you got, Cap? What 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 excites you? What what so far from the offseason? What's the most exciting thing that they've done that you're excited about or things you're looking forward to? Dude. I've said it. I've said it. I'm, I'm broken. <laughs> we're we're gonna win multiple Lombardies. Mm-hmm. Like I I am broken. Is that a Skyline Cup? It is. Oh, mm-hmm. good man. <laughs> now I know what I need. <laughs> That's like, best we, chili around, baby. <laughs> we we did. We did everything we needed to do. Like I know. <laughs> everyone's like, well, they're not gonna go all in on the offensive line. They've been, you know, kind of half-assing it the past couple of off seasons, and. Oh goodness. I I already knew Collins was yeah, I don't want to say a done deal, but he was coming. I wasn't worried. I wasn't worried at all. I did I, I saw all the madness on Twitter. I, I couldn't jump in because I'm like, oh okay, guys, he's he's coming. <laughs> um Burrow, Burrow just keeps getting better. Mm-hmm. Zach. Hell, the, the the media team, the camera. I I had to upgrade my camera because the, the media team's camera looks so good. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to downgrade. I, I got to get a new camera. My, my camera. No, no, you sucks. need. To, uh, hey, you're you're a handsome man. You might deserve the upgrade. How about we switch? I don't want to <laughs> see me in 4K. No one else wants <laughs> to see me in 4K. I need makeup. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I I'll go back to what you say about uh, well Collins. I was a bit nervous. And I said that on the show here is like, I didn't want him to leave when he was in Cincinnati. Cause that was when I was on my first vacation down to Florida back in March. And I'm checking Twitter all the time and trying to figure it out. It's, it's going to be too big. It's be two vacations. Wow. Yeah, just got it. Lucky. <laughs> my wife's from Florida. It's easy. You just go there. We stay with my sister. It's no big deal. She got to get down there. Anyway, I'm checking Twitter and everything. And I'm like, man, don't leave. I don't want to leave. If you leave Cincinnati, we're not going to get into all of a sudden. He shows up at, at, at Kenwood Mall. I'm like, all right, he hasn't left. That's good. That's good. So then a couple hours later, they signed him. I'm like, yes, <laughs> like, that's awesome. I'm like, Cap, we were hoping they would sign two free agents. They got three free, solid offensive linemen. Upgraded the line. Yeah, they fixed the biggest problem with the team. And that's uh, – if we stay – healthy dude the sky's the limit man oh yeah people people try to say that the the Bengals won't repeat because of how lucky they got during the season and when you look at it oh, that, that that's such crap when they keep saying no no, no they're that. right i hmm. i agree there, there was some luck involved when you look at some of the the wins on uh you know one score games how we come back against the chiefs things like that but the people that say that forget the reason why they were one score games, the reason why anybody wants to talk about luck is because we weren't functioning as a complete unit. We weren't operating uh, at peak efficiency. Th- these are still guys, you know, Jamar Chase still trying to uh, be an NFL wide receiver and he broke records. Mm-hmm. The dude is going to take a leap in year two. Joe Burrow's going to take another leap. All these guys that played around each other for a year, they know what they're about. It's not just getting to know the playbook. It's not just the the trust and the timing, where they are on the field at at what time, but it's knowing that when the chips are down, they know they can do it. It's having that swagger. So, yeah, they're, they're right. There was some luck involved, but you know what? It's a better team with more experience and better talent it's it's a Super Bowl win this year, dude. They're gonna our offense is gonna be more consistent. I know people asked us this a lot last year, and I kept saying our offense. Well, they're like, when's our offense offense gonna be consistent? I said when we get consistent play from the offensive line. 
long as they stay healthy, and I keep saying that because that's that's the truth. They got to stay healthy. As long as they stay healthy, dude, we're going to set records, I think, this year. You said consistency a lot. I was waiting for, like, the key to consistency is to be consistent. Yes. Consistently, consistent, and consistently consistent. <laughs> Crypt Keeper, I miss you, Haas. What's up? I've seen Haas two nights in a row. Dang. Uh, My, Michael Madden, uh, don't shoot me. Uh, yeah. If I had a good squirt gun, I would. <laughs> we're not talking about. We're yeah. not talking about Burrow. Hey, yeah. they're going to resign him. Yeah, they're resigning him. That's that's yeah. That, they're gonna that's a him. foregone conclusion. He's yeah. not going to ask for eight hundred million a year, and, and the, the thing, Bengals are going to pay him like the top quarterback he's going to be. Well, the thing is, they've done this two other times where they made their quarterback the t- highest paid quarterback in the league. First one was Boomer Esiason. Second was Carson Palmer. So I mean they've done it before. So that, like I said, I'm not I'm not even worried about that. Now this one that Dustin Paul has here, I think it's kind of interesting. He said, I think the thing that is being overlooked in the midst of all the hype around the AFC offense is how good some of the AFC defenses are. These are some of the great defenses as well, which he's right. I mean, yeah. just in the AFC North. I mean, I hate to say it, but the you, Ravens that- defense look great because mm-hmm. Burrow and Chase only put up how many? Oh wait, never mind. Forty. <laughs> 41 points. But yeah. I mean, but in all honesty, the, the Ravens do have a good defense. So do the so do the Steelers. All so right. those are those are two good uh defenses. And but like I said, like you just said, we put those points up on those defenses last year with our inconsistent offensive line. It's gonna be consistent this year, brother. There you go. <laughs> I like that. Hey, what, what what are the what are the stats here? We got uh Gabe Zeal. <laughs> yeah, Juke. That's, that's my juke. There you go. I, I like your juke. They're actually game IQ. That game IQ off the charts. Nice. I like that shirt. You always get the coolest, coolest shirts. Oh, there. dude. Homage. Awesome. And it's soft. It looks like it. Damn. Kevin like Kevin likes your beard, by the way. Thank you, Kevin. Hey, Kevin, you gave me the uh, the love for the beard last night. I you're becoming my favorite person. Thank you. <laughs> uh now this shows this shows how good, good a friend I am. We keep saying last night. Did you do a show last night or was Tiger's talk last night? I did. Oh, see, I missed it again. Damn it. Flying Tiger. How do I always miss it? I know. I don't know. I just, but I don't okay, know. so did you did you hear um why Blind Tiger? No, I have not. Why is that? So speakeasy, speakeasies, you know, prohibition. Yeah, blah, yeah, blah, blah. yeah. Ah. Um, I didn't realize, but the blind pig was a term used for speakeasies. Really? Like, well, duh. There's a blind pig. Duh. Yeah, there you go. Blind tiger was one also. And apparently, from what I read, it was a little bit more common. Ah. And they would use stuffed tigers blindfolded as kind of a, a signal that that's where you could drink. Well, and, well, you know, we just, part of it, we, hey, Bengals fans have been living in secret for, <laughs> for years. We, we couldn't wear our gear. We couldn't. Now, of course, we did. Yeah, we we did don't that. care. Yeah. But there were people, you know, you'd say, hey, you Bengals fan. And they're like. Well, you know, now it's like you you, you ask, you yell, they're like, hell yeah. Yeah, I am. Damn straight. Well, you, you remember. Proud and proud. I think I told you this story before. It was like two years ago. Went down to Florida again. Again, my wife's from Florida. So we went there for, for the Super Bowl. Well, we didn't go to the Super You are Bowl. Florida man. I, I am Ohio Florida man, yes. But we went down there for the Super Bowl. We didn't go to the Super Bowl. It's the one that the Buccaneers won. But anyway, we're walking around enjoying some of the fan stuff at the Super Bowl and I'm wearing my Joe Burrow white uh, alternate jersey and this guy walks by and goes Bengals why are you wearing the Bengals I said because we're freaking awesome that's why <laughs> and I said that after the 2020 season when Joe Burrow got his knee ripped so yeah I wore it all the time uh, let's get to uh, Crip here or yeah Crip he says Iceman Cap a little birdie told me Thursday night game against the Dolphins the Bengals will be in some throwback jerseys and helmet any comments or no comment. Um, no comment. No comment. <laughs> so. I, I hear rumors all the time. Yeah. And you know what? Um, I know some people out there try to break news. I, I don't ever want to be that guy. I don't, well, I, I, you know what? I'll break, I'll break news here. I know. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. The Ring of uh, Honor is that night. That night. Nothing. Nothing <laughs> against it. I no, just, I'm just, I'm just saying the ring of honors that night. That's, you know, I know that's happening. <laughs> I want to be, I want to be a fan and I want all the glory to go to this team that is exactly. doing so well. So, you know what? I, anything I hear, I forget. And I just act surprised as hell. Wait, what'd you um, say? I forgot what you said. What? 
Exactly. What? Okay. What are we talking about? <laughs> but yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I would, I, my opinion, I would think if they're going to do it, that might be a good night to do it because of the ring, I'll, ring of honor. And that would be the night. That, that would yeah. be, I, I have yeah. no clue if they're going to or not. I don't know, but that would be, I think that'd be the perfect night to do it, you know? And I don't know what you can, but if they do do it, I want the old helmets, the old jerseys. I want everything. The, or, you know, the pumpkin head one where it just says Bengals on it. That's, I want that. If they're going to do it, and, you know, I, I mean, as far as the Ring of Honor goes, I think Willie Anderson is almost a shoe in to get in. Yeah, that helmet right there. But I don't know about you, but I voted for Isaac Curtis because I like to get, get him in. Just because, I, you know, I, 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 these guys are in the 70s. I don't want to forget about them. So that's yes. why I would like. Yeah, Ube yeah. said the same thing, and I, I agree with her 100%. It's like, I don't want another Ken Riley not to be able to witness that honor for himself. You know, it's great that his, his kid was able to, to be there. Amazing guy in his own right. But uh, yeah, you know, I feel like we've got a couple of um, experienced alums that we can get in real quick and then spread it out a little bit right. more. You know, it's not right. going to be in order. It's going to be, yeah. you know, I mean, Willie just is. Yeah. Well, Willie, to me, he's got to. If, if if we want him in the Hall of Fame, he's got to be in our own freaking Ring of Honor. That's I don't. I don't agree. He'll be. No? I mean, if if he's not in our Ring of Honor this year, he will be next year. Yeah. But I don't think he he he's that good. Like he could. The the Bengals could not exist. They could disappear. He should have already been in. He's oh, just. Yeah. He, he's a lock. Yeah. And yeah, I, I know you're not saying he's not. No. Um. I just don't think that. From conversations that I've had around the voting process and, and people who bitch and complain about the Bengals, they don't care. The, the, being in the ring of honor isn't swaying these guys at all. Right. Did you see Matty that? Meyer? <laughs> Matty Meyer. Here. He's, I, he, you know, he's, he's dropping Easter eggs. <laughs> We can't, we can't say anything yet, so we'll just leave it, leave it at that. <laughs> All right, so let's get to Dustin here. Now, this is interesting. He says, uh, Zim, means Zim Hude, I think, is saying OBJ is downtown as we speak. That would be wild. I have no idea if he is or not. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I don't know. What, what you thought? There is rumors going around OBJ coming to the Bengals. I, I'd i be surprised because he'd be the fourth, <laughs> you know, but – I'd, I'd be, be surprised. Me. Yeah, exactly. Because it's, it's going to be tough for him to get snaps. Um, you know, coming off, uh, he just, he's, he's had some bad luck with injuries. I understand that he, he watched and he saw, we should have won. Yeah. He knows how lucky the Rams got. I appreciate him wanting to come to the true champions. Yeah. And, 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 you know, hoist that trophy for real. Deservedly. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it, it's going to be tough for him to get get snaps, and that, yeah, that's not a no diss to him. Well, I'm, I mean, the thing is, he how healthy is he going to be? You know, because he's he's coming out. He tore his, his his ACL again, you know, in the Super Bowl. So I mean, he's not going to be ready for the beginning of the season. I mean, he'll play this. I'm year. not worried about age. No, I'm just talking about injury. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> my, we talk about age. I got more age gray in my beard. Just <laughs> I like gray. I got my beard. Anyway, I'll. But you know what's gonna happen once we do win the Super Bowl. You know, you know I'm get, getting done right. Brazilian. Tattoo. Yeah, tattoo. Oh, tattoo. Yeah, of course, right tattoo. All right, there. Oh, not my first one, be my second one, but still, that's our. Nice. That's what getting. I wait for them to win the Super Bowl, then it, the big. I, seriously, I'm I'm about to do this off season. Go ahead and tattoo the uh, Super Bowl champions Bengals tattoo right now. I think you should. I think you should do it right right on. You know, I mean, there's yeah. always one one asshole every year that they make fun of, <laughs> and it never happens. <laughs> right. And I'm going to be the first one to be able to look back like, yeah, see, told tell you. you. Duh. I said it. <laughs> yeah, Captain Dom. Nostra Captain. I I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you say? No, Nostra Captain? No, Nostra Domus? Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Bengals yeah, are winning yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, dude, I said it. I, I, I've been saying it. Hey, I said Cap. Who did? <laughs> Cap. Can I pee in your truck week one? <laughs> I can't believe that's still alive. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to mount like little little magnetic uh, uh, urinals to the side. Well, you know, you know, you you heard. Well, you were actually, yeah, you were actually on the show on Bengals and Brews with the Goodberry Brothers when we discussed uh, the Buffalo Cincinnati uh, uh, Olympics. You know, the the dildo tossing and and you know the opening ceremonies is slamming uh, orange arrow through a table. 
That's still a thing too. <laughs> I said I will not partake in the tables. <laughs> I said I kind of I said I kind of feel bad. But Eric said you guys are not throwing me through the table. He's I'll jump off the truck and do it myself. I said that's fine because I don't want Jack getting hurt. <laughs> Like, uh, I don't even know the Good Berries are even going to sh- – I know they're going to be at the game. I have no idea if they're going to show up and do it, uh, watch us do this or not. We'll have to see. That would we'll be hilarious. Absolutely. Oh my. Dude, uh, yeah. We got one the- but I don't want to see anybody get hurt. So if no. nobody does anything I- through a table, I don't care. Yeah, that's that's the part with me. I'm like, like, I, like, I was talking to Dale the other day. I'm like, man, I feel kind of bad about this. I might want to start it. I was just kind of joking around, but now it's kind of become a thing. And then Derek's like, well, I already said I'd do it, so I'm going to do it. I'm like, all right, man. Well, you're, that's on you. That's not on me. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. All right. Let's see. I uh, got some more stuff with the Ring of Honor here. Grip. Uh, I do think Bob Johnson is the only Bengals player whose jersey number is retired. Should go in sooner or later in the Ring of Honor. Yeah, because he was the very first Bengal. That's the reason his number is retired. And yeah, I think he'll go in the Ring of Honor too. But to be honest, I don't know if that's going to happen for a while because I don't even know. If, I'm trying to remember, was he even on the the original list? Do you remember offhand, Cap? Because I I can't remember him. He's on there or not? To be honest, can't remember. I can't remember. The, I can't remember this morning. <laughs> oh I, well, I can't even remember. I was supposed to text you and say, "Hey, you're coming on my show today," and I forgot to do that too. So, <laughs> Dustin, uh, stadium upgrades. To be honest, I don't know anything specific. I you know I know about the Wi-Fi upgrade. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is just awesome for plans that I already had, but (laughs) expect, expect upgrades, expect surprises. I guarantee you there's going to be stuff that that first kickoff regular season, we're all going to be like, what? (laughs) Yeah, I guarantee it. That's why I got to get Emily Parker back on here again. See if I can pick her brain. See if she'll, uh, (laughs) she won't tell me nothing, but she'll, Tell us something I'm allowed to hear. Hey, we got breaking news, John. Breaking news, Bart Scott still sucks. <laughs> and I wonder what he's going to say when Jackpot Joey puts another 500 yards on his old team. He's going to say, well, we got another red dot on him, or we're going to come after him again, you know. But that's what we do from back in while playing football back there. I don't know what he's going to say. That guy. I, Hoss, I, it is never too early for Chad. Nah. But. But. Yeah, there, there are a couple of. I feel like if we get through the little catch up. I, I would have loved to have seen four per year for the first couple of years. Yeah, to get some of the older alums in, and then full steam ahead. And yeah, yeah Chad yeah, that's Willie. The thing is, and that, that's why I just don't want everybody to forget because not everybody was alive in the seventies, you know, or knows about Isaac Curtis and Lamar Parrish, and you know. Guys like that 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 deserve hell. Actually, actually, they probably should be in the Hall of Fame. To be honest, yeah. you know, I mean, absolutely. Lamar, Lamar Parrish, it was um on the, uh, him and Ken Riley. I think or are, are, are way under appreciated for as good of a secondary as they were. They are freaking ridiculous what they did. What blows my mind because some of these experts, Hall of Fame experts, some of these weirdos on Twitter that are just like swinging from the cantons whatever um <laughs> it blows my mind because they'll their their first argument is well ken riley benefited because lamar parish was so good nobody threw at lamar parish and i'm thinking okay so <laughs> you're telling me ken riley's borderline to get a hall of fame right but he's only there because of a guy who's that much better <laughs> Who's also not in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> Who's not even getting considered to be in the Hall of Fame? But then, so, but then in the next uh, breath, they'll say, "Oh, but there's no, you know, there's nothing against the Bengals. They just don't have it enough." You just said it. Like I can't. I had to block one of them. The the <laughs> one kid that, I'm like, dude, you literally are not going to ever be able to sleep inside the Hall of Fame naked. They are not going to let you in there without clothes. I don't care how much you say this on Twitter. You're not going to get a date. Oh uh, yeah, just some of the arguments. I mean, I, I hate the argument that well, they didn't go to the Super Bowl, dude. You know how hard it was. There was not nearly as many playoff teams back then as there are, is now. If the playoff is set up the way they are now, if it was if it was set up by, that way back then, the Bengals would have went to the to the Super Bowl multiple times, especially in the early seventies. 
mid seventies would kind of slow down a little bit. Then they cranked it back up right toward the end. If the Steelers hadn't done all the steroids, like all, literally all of them, like used up every single syringe in the NFL, we would have had multiple Super Bowls. There you go. I think, I think we're going to clip that out. That, that's going to go viral right there. Just blow it up to everybody. <laughs> they know they did it. They've admitted it. <laughs> exactly. But no, it's true. I mean, if, but if, if the Bengals could have had more opportunities, you know, and that's the whole thing. They didn't have the opportunities because the space wasn't there for the, for the playoffs. You know, they, they wouldn't, it wouldn't be like this. And, and the thing is that we talked about this multiple times on the show here. People act like the Bengals stunk forever. No, seventies and eighties, they were, they were good. You know, they were headed down years. Yeah, one were, decade. They, yeah. That, that sucked. Yeah. And then suddenly like, get out of here. I see. And I feel broken. I feel broken because I, I, it's not that I, I don't have energy. I have energy. I don't have energy anymore for, for the trolls. Mm-hmm. Who, because you know what? When you say the Bengals are poverty now, <laughs> like literally your joke. Literally, well, it's because like, it's, I can it's, say anything. I can what? say the Patriots have been poverty from day one. That, that literally means nothing. And to a Patriots fan, you're not even going to get a response. Well, and that, that's, that's, that's the thing. The Patriots don't spend money. The Patriots, they spend less money than, than the Bengals do. You know, and the thing is what killed it were people like, because I, I was I was over somebody's house, one of my friends, and her father-in-law or father, her father-in-law's brother, somebody was there, and I was wearing- You were at a girl's house? I was a friend of my, friend, my wife's a friend's girl? house. Friend, yes, friend, she's a girl, and I was there. You're married. My wife, it, yes, but my wife was there with me. So this Okay. Is, yeah, yeah. Jeez, God. <laughs> <laughs> Go get me divorced on the day. Why are you sweating? <laughs> 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 no, but anyway- we were over there, and I'm wearing uh, Joe Burrow stuff, like I wear almost every day. And he goes, he goes, well, you know they're not going to sign him. I'm like, I just kind of laugh. Like, yes, they're going to. I'm like, that's not even. Uh, why do people even think that's going to happen? I'm like, why? Well, I mean, the Bengals are going to sign Joe Burrow. The one person I can guarantee you they are going to sign is Jackpot Joey Burrow. I know they're going to sign. They're not a uh, chance in hell. Mike Brown, Duke, Toby, Katie, none of them are going to let Joe Burrow leave. The Bengals. He's a Bengal until he retires, no matter what. <laughs> He's getting his own orange and black credit card medal. <laughs> exactly. Yep. He's getting exactly. Bitcoin after it comes back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Every, yeah. The, the man is going to get everything he wants. All right, uh, John here. Two questions. What do the Bengals need? And how many free agents do you think they will pick up before preseason games? What do the, they need? The Bengals need the loudest fans in the NFL. That's how stacked yeah, they are. Yeah, two of them we, here. We, we've got yeah. skill. We've got skill like none other. We've got some depth. Shore up a few things, fine. But yeah. you know I mean, what? Nothing not, big. I mean, no, nothing big. Like, they've got enough to repeat. They, they've, right. they've got enough to win the Super Bowl. I mean, may, maybe another tight backup tight end. Maybe another backup offensive lineman. A fourth wide receiver. That, that's really. It everything else is dude. I, I've, like, I've, like, good. I, I was really impressed. And again, anybody coming to the games, that Chiefs game in Kansas City, they weren't necessarily loud. I wasn't around anybody that I couldn't out yell. Well, that's just because you're the fact loud. that they were all yelling, yeah, every single one of them, little old ladies, little tiny babies. You know, they were all yelling nonstop and not the not the defense chant and then five seconds of silence. It was uh you know I'm, just constant. And it's easy to do. Yeah. Um, we, <laughs> we've had this discussion multiple times because it would yeah. help if everybody else would yell, it would help our voices out a little bit too, because as we come on the show Monday, we won't be talking like this. Yep. Like, that was yep. a great game. We could, it? No one would have to strain. <laughs> yeah. We're all just like, oh, uh, and they would just shake. PBS. Exactly. So that's yeah. what we need. And free agents before uh, preseason, I, I'm not expecting any. I mean, so it's not going to be anybody big if they get anybody. I mean, it all depends. And again, Apologies ahead of time if we sign anybody. You are big. You do matter. <laughs> but no, no one that we're going to be like, because there's, you know, the, the the Collins have already been signed. Yeah, I mean, what else, what else are they going to do? So I, that's where you know. But I, I mean, mean OB, OBJ would be big news. OBJ would be yes, that would but be I don't think it would be a big signing. 
I, I'd still be, I, I would still be surprised. I just don't, yeah. unless he just wants to go get another ring, you know, that, maybe he does. Play with his, hey, he gets to get to hopefully a Lombardi trophy and gets to play with his LSU boys. Yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, we were on the same wave, like, wave like I'm about to say that too, play with the LSU boys. So I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I'm not against it. No, I'm it's, not at all. It's kind of like the whole thing with, with, with uh, people talking about uh, Gronkowski. You know how they say he he wanted to come here. I wouldn't be against it. I just don't necessarily see it happening. I mean, but I hope it does. I mean, both of them be great. If we get yeah, I, I think the problem in Cleveland was Baker. Mm-hmm. So I'm not worried about OBJ in, in our locker room. No, heck no, no. I, I well look, he went to the Rams. It was fine. Yep. So I'm not you know I'm, proved I, it was Baker. And, and yeah, and the thing is, dude, with, with this locker room, this culture that Zach Taylor has built here, that Yumi talked about over and over and over again. It's so ingrained in these guys that they can. They, it's to the point where they can bring guys who are "quote unquote" troublemakers, and they'll bring them into the fold, and they'll like, "All right, this is how we do it here." And I, I don't think it's a problem. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. So I, that's where I mean, I, I think that's what Zach did has done such a great job of love that man. This, yeah, of this culture. Now we, that's what he kept saying time and time again the first couple of years of of his coaching. And he uh, knew it. Mm-hmm. That's what blows my mind. He's sitting there in front of a camera, getting interviewed, getting pelted with questions. He he hears the 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 naysayer. He hears the, the city. He hears all these people who don't know what they're talking about, and he's just committed. You know the. I'm, I'm glad, but you know a certain reporter who, who who tried to absolutely torpedo everything that we have seen by saying that there's this huge problem in the locker room. You know, and then you think we went to the Super Bowl. We had one of the best seasons we've ever had as fans, and somebody tried to take that away from us prior to that. Mm-hmm. Not bitter. I'm bitter. I'm very bitter. And <laughs> just peep, just nothing. Crickets. And he he stood there and he took it and he answered mm-hmm. questions about how well, you, he doesn't remember, see the so weakness remember the in the locker room. You remember the comment where he said like two years ago, I can't wait to come back. When this is, I can't remember how he said it, but he said this like two years ago. Basically, he can't wait till we're past all this and we're on to the good times. It's, it's not, it's not, we're close to what he said, but he said that two years ago when we're, you know, four and 12 or four and whatever the hell we were. I don't remember, or don't remember anymore. And I brought that up last year, like, well, we're here. <laughs> he, he projected it, he talked about it, and it's happening. And it happened last year and it's going to keep happening. I, I, I've said it before, but I knew what we had in him because I did my research. You know, listening to what he said backed up everything I learned. And I just, I, I had this feeling like, no, the guy's legit. I want the best for this guy and his family. And then it happens. It's just proof that doing the right thing in the face of all of the negativity, you can win. You I, Seriously, I want to read the book said it a million times i can't wait till he writes a book he's going to write a book if i have to write it for him now i can't question, wait to read it because we i have learned so much it's almost like you know what would zach taylor do now question i want book, those t-shirts it, in the book is the epic high five first high five that he gave captain is that gonna be in the book oh i ap probably wouldn't say it. <laughs> But you actually got you actually got the meeting face to face though. I, we did that we were at the at the draft party. Dude, the, I was you're like a little schoolgirl like dude. Hi, hi, hi. I was nervous. <laughs> I've been going to events for so long. I, I it was fun and you get a little, you know, little butterflies and stuff. It's like okay, well, I've been I've been I've talked to people, blah blah blah. I see people you know you talk to, right? It helps calm the nerves. And then I saw him, I'm like, it was, it was cool. It was very cool, you know, and it, the eyes lit up and, you know, shook my hands and says, thanks. You know, yeah. I, he didn't have a whole lot of time. And of course, no. I'm not one to, to, plus at the moment, how I felt, I knew I was just going to ramble. Oh my God, Zach, I am so good to meet you. And <laughs> like, I can't tell you everything that, you know, you're just my, my idol and, you know, and then just, uh, hey. just pass out on the floor. <laughs> you, um, you've been like, you're like Chris yeah. Farley. You're like Chris I, Farley. I, you, you know, you know. You know, yeah, you know, I would have, so you know yeah, what, that, that better awesome. shake hands and hi, thank you. Thank you so much, coach. Let, let that be it. And then we'll, I'll, maybe I'll talk later, you know, a little bit more at length. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, dude, it was awesome. I was so happy to finally, finally meet him. 
the funny thing when, when I was there, we well, were at the same thing, and I was just trying to get a picture with Zach. And I said, because I because I take pictures of from the I said I told him I got so many pictures from you from the from the bridge. I want to get with Cozy. He's like, all right, let's do it. He goes, yeah. He goes, and I said, I told him I said, you know, I'll be on the bridge. He goes, absolutely, I know you're gonna be on the bridge. I'm like, all right, we took a picture. But the funny thing is, I'm staying there because there's a whole bunch of people standing around trying to get pictures with him. And I can't, keeps going asking me like, can you take a picture of me with Zach? I'm like, sure. So I took that picture. He said, sure. And I'm like, hold on, I want to get a picture with you. <laughs> like, I kept taking a nice picture. <laughs> so. I'm, yes, Absolutely, I'm that, I'm that guy. <laughs> I Hoss. Yep, we we talked about that a little bit last night. Uh, he's got a theory about Burrow going to Vegas with Bates. Feel Burrow will tell Bates uh, what other differences in the contract he'll cover it with his uh, with his contract. Um, I don't know about the you know him him coughing up the cash, but I do believe I don't think this Vegas trip was planned from like last year. I th I think Burrow he, he's going to. Take him out, let him know how important he is to the team, uh, how important he is to to build this again, uh, to make this run again, mm -hmm. and, and to get his buy in. And, and even if it's to play on the franchise tag, uh, hey, he's got Bates has got the ability. If, oh, if yeah. he wants the, the biggest bag in the NFL all time history, he can get it by going out and playing at MVP level this season. Oh, absolutely, get that trophy that like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm sorry, you know, I'm not, you got to be smart with the money. You can't just constantly throw record money at every single player. And uh, data scientists will tell you safety is not the position to throw the money at. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if you want to break records, you want to destroy Minka's contract because Minka wasn't worth what he got paid. No. Um, He's screwing that. Yeah, you know, then then fine. Just like Deshaun Watson, that was a dumb, dumb well, trade. That was the, stupid. The Browns, are, I guarantee you, the Browns trying to get out of this, <laughs> dude. And they can't. I know. There's no way. I know. I don't, so I, no, Deshaun Watson did not just set the market. That was a dumb <laughs> trade. Every team in the NFL is going to say no. You are not pitting the most ignorant move ever against <laughs> us right. in hopes that we're dumb too. It's not going to happen. Exactly. All right, Augie here says, I love Bates, but I I think we drafted prepping for his departure, and we drafted well. And that he is had, a man stogie. Yeah, he that had that. You, you, we were at that game. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, I know. It was. <laughs> we're that all is a up. man's – that's a baby's arm. He's smoking. <laughs> it's a baby's arm. <laughs> Jeff uh, Anderson, love you, Cap. Love you too, Jeff. Uh Anybody else's volume going up and down? I think it's Cap's microphone, to be honest. Is it just when are, Cap talks? Am, am I going up and down? I think you are when you kind of lean back. And, mm, I don't know. So I, I just need to sit still. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah. That, um, so that StreamYard good. has automatic, like, yeah. leveling. That's and if, yeah. if I'm getting loud and mm -hmm. soft and loud, so I do that. I have ADD. But that's um, the, uh, that's the, that's the, that's the Jackpot Joey cigar. That's the one I, oh, nice. I in and out. Which didn't, didn't I give you one? No. Yeah. You man, didn't. You, you left me out. Yeah, well, I could just. <laughs> my bad. Come here. I'll give you a hug. I'm sorry. <laughs> go up here. Go up here. <laughs> my bad, cat. <laughs> uh, so, all right. What? Uh, so, I, I guess we get back to the Jesse Bates conversation. And what's your thoughts on? It? I mean, do you think the Bengals are gonna are gonna sign, or you think that he's gonna if he put balls out like you said, he's gonna get that bag. I still, if he does that, I, my personal opinion, I don't think the Bengals are going to sign him. I mean, I think they will, you know, for 15, but if he wants 18 or 19, I, I think he's gone. I, yeah, I wish he'd eight, suck. I hate it. I, I want to keep him, but, you know. 18 and, man, 18 and 19 is a big ask. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, ah, uh, if if that's the, the number, no, we're, we're probably not. Yeah. Um, I, I hope we do because I love him. Mm -hmm. I think the talent's there. I I feel like it would be an easier conversation if his regular season was better. Yeah, last that's year. the that's the problem. He played like, like the best safety in the league in the playoffs. I mean, we would have not made it to the Super Bowl if it wasn't for Jesse Bates. I mean, he's not the sole reason, but he's a big he's a big reason. He made a yeah. lot of really big plays. He he for. played like we knew he could. Yes. So, and if he does that, like you said, if he plays like that throughout the whole year this year, dude. <laughs> He's yeah, he's gonna get a bag. <laughs> now, see, happens. if he plays like that throughout the whole year, there's a chance the Bengals pay big money for him because they know 
the TV contracts are going to continue to get bigger. Mm-hmm. They know what the Rams are doing. They know cash over cap. They know creativity. That just because they haven't done it doesn't mean they don't know about it. Right. They understand what's being built. They understand the electricity, the excitement. We're we're going to sell out every game this year. It's going to we're going to break volume decibel records inside PBS. I guarantee it. Oh, dude, it's so going to allow. They the see television. the energy on social media. We're we're doing stuff in social media you know, getting people together that that's just never been done. Uh, we've never had a bunch of different people with, with a, a big following just because they're Bengals fans. Right. And, and we've got that now. And we're getting, and you know, we're getting more, we're getting more and more, 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 more people yeah. jumping on Twitter, jumping on YouTube, doing different podcasts, doing different things all about the Bengals. It's awesome. Yep. Uh, Sharif here says got a picture with cap and me with cap. Leave your Facebook info inbox uh, then to me. Oh, I can see you. you're not even on Facebook. Are you? No, yeah. not anymore. But no, let, yeah, get that get that pick from him. I appreciate you, Sharif. Yeah, just you can DM it to, DM it to me uh, on the uh, Strawberry Ice. Got that? Uh, got the Louis shirt. Yeah, I like it. Just DM it to me on, on the uh, Strawberry Ice uh, Facebook page. I, I can I can send it over to Cap. I'm gonna do it that way. Kevin, Bengals should have Skyline Chili as their sponsor. Uh huh. Sarah, if you're watching, Sarah, we yes. all agree. Yes. But what yeah. do we got to do to make it happen? Gold Star, we love you. You're good people. Sorry, I'm Skyline. I'm Skyline all the way. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Team Skyline. Yeah, Team Skyline. I love Skyline. I just yeah. I like the I like the sauce better. I oh, yeah. just it's that little bit different. Love it, dude. It's like it's. I'm dude. I, I'm getting fatter eating it too much. It's a problem. But I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like I said, working on the decade, and instead of running, running because we got to run to Lowe's or whatever, go buy more stuff. And there's a skyline right there, and I'm like, hey, I'm hungry. So I'm going to get skyline all the time, dude. I'm like, I'm crushing that stuff. But the cheese conies, I get this. People are like, you don't like the sauce, or they don't like the sauce because it's running. I say, like, no, no, no. The sauce is the best part because. If it's in the bun, it gets soaked in the bun, and then it's all nice and juicy in the bun, and you put it in your mouth, and it's delicious. I'm like, oh, it's awesome. Don't you like the bun? The sauce getting soaked into the bun? Don't you like that? Hush. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Just <laughs> popping the bottle out now. Forget it. It's over. <laughs> all right. Let's see what's all you got here. I love the fact that half of the media still doubts we were for real last year. Some say the Browns are better with the QB who hasn't been in a game in two years. Our boys don't need to, don't need added motivation. Augie, I'm with take you, my it. boy. Yeah, I'll take it. Yes, I mean, I, that's, what, that's what I keep saying. I'm like, keep talking. Go ahead, keep talking. That, that ship we had last year, go keep getting bigger. Because they're like, all right, you think last year was a fluke? Okay. Why not us again? Exactly. That's the thing is, is, uh, oh, I know one thing I want to put up. I was going to go back to Jesse Beach real quick. One thing that if we do lose him, what is going to be bad is the locker room presence and the presence on, on the team. That part is going to hurt even bigger. I, I was thinking about that because of uh, CJ Uzama. He's the one that's coined, why not us? Now we need to find another. Or what's what's the saying going to be this year, I think? You know? You got to think. All, all the characters that we have, I mean, uh, Cam is is talking already. Like we trust me, we will not be short of mottos and sayings. And nah, we're gonna have some. It's not not a fluke. Now, Foxy, get out of here. The skyline tastes the, too much like cinnamon. Go with guess all- what? <laughs> what 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 they say in a uh, uh, Hangover? Tigers love cinnamon. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, skyline. how you like that? There you go, Foxy. <laughs> Oh, uh, we talk, dude, oh. Honestly, I, I've had more conversation about chili on my freaking show than the, I had. The uh, wife said they they hate cinnamon. They love pepper. They hate cinnamon. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to change. You messed it up, Cap. Tagged on it. Bad Cap. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, she, she said, at least I didn't think it was a steak hooker. Did you see that episode? <laughs> Did you see that episode? <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I went back and watched it. Whitney, Whitney was telling me about it. Dude. <laughs> I like I'm I'm blushing thinking about it. I was crying, <laughs> laughing. I love her. I love her. She's 
she's <laughs> smart and beautiful, and but every now and then she'll hear something wrong and stay yeah. cooker. Yeah, what what he told me that I, t- I talked to, to Jess about Hubei about it when she's on my show. That that was the night you were on the show on Bengals and Brewers for like three hours with uh, Shane Graham. Oh, that was great. I, I still have, dude. I still haven't watched the whole freaking show. It's they guys are on for three freaking hours. I'm like, yeah, oh. I'm like holy crap, I'm like geez, oh. but it is a really good one for what I've seen. Yeah, uh, they've got they've got great stuff. Oh, Bengals and Brewers. That's my boys. They both sit right behind me. All right, um. Dustin Crop, I expect the offense to be different this year because it will require more, more what methodical. Is Thank you, methodical drives against two cover cover two defenses. Fans are going to need to be patient if we are not just throwing up tons of points. I, well, I good point, and I hope I hope we are because you would think after how many close games that we won, how many comebacks we had, people can finally realize. This is a team you cannot count out. We are not out until that final whistle. So if if I start hearing booing or see Twitter, oh dude, up, they have booze. I'm gonna be kicked dude, off. Dude, I might Boo. delete Twitter. Like if people flip out, if if we go, if we start the season zero and three, you don't count us out. We're not going to, but you can't count us out. Right? Exactly. I I just I. I I don't I, I don't see us starting out 0 and three. I think I, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm I, you know I was like got the I got the orange colored sunglasses you know at the ready. So I'm always looking at the Bengals through these, and I just I don't know. I can't see us going 0 and three. I I, I get think we got a better chance of three and 0, but we'll see. Yeah, now we're talking, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Sharif wants to know. Oh, I don't like you. Can, you can see my setup here. <laughs> you can see my OnlyFans tab open. What the hell? <laughs> Oops. Uh, Sheriff wants to know why no talk about the alternate helmets. I don't even know what, what the alternate helmet, what they're going to be. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I, it, to be completely honest, I haven't heard anything uh, about alternate helmets. So, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I heard that they could have them, and it's only like one. I think I said Emily Parker, I think, told me last year that uh, they can do one game, but they, they it's got to be part of the. Color rush or something like that. I think I, I don't remember something like that. So I have not talked about it because I don't really know anything about it. So <laughs> there, there's going to be some great surprises this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In PBS. It's not going to be just on the field. Just just saying. Well, yeah. Well, one of them is going to be uh, Bengals captain is going going to be the uh, ruler of the jungle. I was breaking news here. Now I'm just saying it. <laughs> <laughs> there are yeah. so many great staff. fans, deserving fans. Like I I really hope. A lot of people get, and, and I know they will. Uh, there, there's going to be a lot of fans that get attention, and you know, jumbotron and whatever, just because hey, I, I I've got a, a social media following. It, it makes it easy for for me to be visible. That should that shouldn't be the, the qualifier. So I, I'm happy to to wait in line. There, there's so many amazing in. fans. Augie, Augie, Augie's already in. He wants to know when. What what day? What day are you the rule of the jungle? We don't know. I just made that up. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Don't be trying. disappointed when it doesn't happen. <laughs> You're like, damn it. I heard it on Strawberry Ice Show. They said it was going to happen. What the heck? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see here. Uh, Ariel, Crypt Keeper. He said, do you remember the last Bengals throwback game in 1994? I do. I guess the Patriots. Those uh, compilation orange helmets with the black face mask was awesome. That Yes. If they do a throwback game or jersey or whatever that's what i want i want those again because i the funny thing is i think i i didn't like them when i was younger and i love i love the striped helmets i think the striped helmet is the coolest helmet around but i would like to see those again because that is part of the heritage and the good little throwback that's the throwback to me you know the other one because everything else has been kind of just a little alteration of the original you know striped uniform you know so that's where i like those Those are completely different from anything we've we, we've had that's why i like those <laughs> uh, let's see a stranger a lot of helmet talk here our primary helmet has been the best in football for over 40 years so i'm good with whatever the alternate alternate is yeah I, I love dude cap i like are you, are you with me we got the best uh helmet in football easy 
I, there's so many people who are jealous and say, oh, it's crap. It's crap. And I mean, first of all, what you, you're just going to copy every other team and you're just, whatever logo you want to put, you're going to put on the side of your helmet. Right. Ooh. Or, or even worse, you're the Browns. You're like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so we'll just skip that part. We'll just put a stripe. <laughs> yeah. Like that's it. That that's the excitement. Here are the Bengals are the most unique helmet in all of sports, never to be duplicated. Exactly. It, it's it's perfect. It's absolute perfection. Yeah, I mean, the only way it could be better if they they had like a little tiger cub on top, just sitting there, you know. <laughs> Joey Joey B's in a huddle and you just feed a little treat. You know, <laughs> that would be that would be badass. <laughs> that would be but then badass. I would feel bad if Tiger Cub got hit. <laughs> There would be a flag, unnecessary roughness, um, roughing the cup. The, the tire yeah. cup. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Anna here says, traveling to New York City and Cincinnati for the Jets and Dolphins from Ireland in September. Hope to meet you both. Who day? Benji. Like. Yeah, Benji. Waylon? I thought that Waylon uh, looked familiar. I, I, I'm pretty sure that I have seen that on Twitter. Can't wait. Can't wait to see you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, come we, check we've got out. some Irish roots in this family. So there you go. Uh, Cap is always at uh, Bengals Bomb Squad. Um, I'm floating around <laughs> uh, from uh, the Jackpot Joey Tailgate to the Bengals Bob Squad to Bengal Gym to wherever my heart desires. I always put my, my walking shoes on and I got so many friends out there, you know. Well, it, and, and what you do is easy because you start at Jackpot. Mm hmm. And then you basically just walk into the walk stadium, yep. walking into the stadium, you mm -hmm. pass by Bengal bomb squad. Mm -hmm. And then of course, right in front of the, 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 the entrance is, is Jim. So, yep. you know, you, you can't miss it. You, you, mm -hmm. you would accidentally be part of it. You know, hell. <laughs> what is that over there? Oh, yeah, oh it's right that. there. <laughs> so yeah, we've, we've got like the perfect setup with how everything loops around it, You know, eventually there's gotta be a, uh, uh, you know, Victory oh, trail, dude, dude. You know Victory what we should do? Trail. There we go. Oh, I got, I got a great idea. This is what we should do. No, we should do a, a. You know how we do pub crawls? We should do a tailgate crawl. You know, we we start at one, one go to another, then go to get a whole group of people to do the do a, 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 a tailgate crawl. I think that'd be an awesome idea to do sometime. Hell yeah! Just got to figure out how to do it because so I I am going to be running around uh, trying to do interviews with uh, some of the. The lesser known but amazing tailgates. We've got a ton of them. Uh, you know, I, I'll still never never forget that that jerk that said that there's no tailgating in oh. Cincinnati. Yeah. And uh yeah, we have 10, 15, oh. 20 amazing huh. tailgates. Well, I, I'm got, just talking on the on the west side of the stadium. I, I there's even more on the east side of the stadium. I, oh, I, yeah. You know, you know. I mean, we we've got probably four or five big, like amazing tailgates that, that any team would love to have but we've got so many more that are just you know they they prefer to keep them smaller but you know so and so is a, a cook so and so has an amazing setup inside their 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 bus so and so you know all these different reasons hell uh you've got player families tailgating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well i won't say where but i see it all the time it's just oh yeah our, our tailgating scene is phenomenal so are you are you going to do this for for the blind tiger? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, cool. Sure. Or I might help out the tigers talk. You know. Yeah. Or you know, I, I am still the uh, the the Instagram husband. <laughs> so I, I will be holding the the camera for the fabulous Hubei. There you go. Well, that's you, my you, number one job <laughs> is holding the camera for Hubei. <laughs> it's a very important job. Make sure yes. you don't mess it up. You know, yes. we don't want you to be, become a, a steak hooker. That would be bad. <laughs> Oss never attended any tailgates, but it's going to change this. You're good. Oh, you haven't? How have you never attended any tailgates? A lot of people don't. You know? Really? And, oh, yeah. Because you got to think about it. I, and I used to be that guy, too. We would get to the stadium. We would park just in time to walk in for kickoff. Oh, wow. You know, it's like, it's a, and at the time, it was a long drive for us, but. That's because um, you live in Columbus. You got to move down yeah, here. <laughs> even there, you know, you you figure these people who might go to one game per year, 
Um, it's like, well, what tailgate, you know? And, right. and, you know, sometimes it's whoever advertises themselves the loudest mm-hmm. is, is where, where people end up going. Um, it just depends on what you're into. It depends on where you park. It depends on, and, and people don't give them enough time. Mm-hmm. So it's not so much, you know, what tailgate you see people talk about or what it, it's where you park and how you plan on getting in for me, because I still have not gotten over to Longworth. It kills dude, me because Longworth, it, dude, Longworth is awesome. I love it. It's Longworth. amazing. The who day ladies. Yeah. They're like, they make their own clothes. It's sweet. Uh huh. Who day chicks. I'm sorry. Who day yeah. Chicks, the who day yeah, yeah. yeah. ladies is who the Bengals, uh, yeah. uh, women's group. So yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Longworth is fun. Just being at Longworth, just Walker. Cause I know who did baby. He starts off, you know, at, at Longworth before bomb squad yep. uh, gets there. Yep. Good. Just because him. so, so Haas. Longworth opens like on a typical kickoff. Longworth will open eight o'clock. Oh, 10. No, you're at eight. You're right. Never mind. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Never mind. Longworth opens at eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, lot one right beside Longworth opens at nine. Mm-hmm. Bengal bomb squad. We are literally basically a straight walk from Longworth. Yeah. You can't miss it. There's a big inflatable flailing tiger tail, big orange bus, all of us. We got a couple, uh, big awning set up to, you know, protect you from elements, all the food and drink you can eat, live music. Uh, and, they, and they have a guy drink. with a really big beard and a, and a hat that you can't, you can't, you can't miss. They got him. And then, then they got another guy that, that has a big cowboy hat. That's this big. Yeah. The, the very first ever fan of the year. Yes. Who day baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, deservedly. So, um, we have, uh, there's a, uh, pro football ultimate fan association that, that celebrates, um, you know, some of the, the, the crazy fans, crazy fans in the uh, NFL, and they do a lot of good charity work. Uh, we've, we've got the, the most members, uh, in the PF UFA, uh, tailgating hall of fame. You know, we, I think we're the oldest, uh, Cincinnati Bengals, uh, member tailgate in the uh, tailgating hall of fame. We've got some new games coming. This uh, season, not going to say, but uh, I got a couple things planned. So absolutely, we've got raffles. We give away memorabilia, always raising money for charity. Absolutely. So, yeah, we are, we are one of the leading uh, charity raisers in, in Cincy. So absolutely. come on out. But that's, that's just lot one. Mm-hmm. And you can walk down and um, you want to get in Gate E. Gate E, if you can get in. As soon as possible, like 1130 is yep. about as early as most everybody can get in. So plan on being a gatey, 1130 a.m. Uh, that way you can come down the south section, throw footballs around with uh, uh, Joe Mixon. You know, we we helped him train for that touchdown throw. <laughs> you know, us fans were involved in that success. <laughs> yes, I got I got the football over there. Yeah, That's there you great. go. So yeah. uh, and then, you know, right in front of gate E is lot E. Mm-hmm. And you see uh, Bengal trailers there. Yep. Uh, the Bengal twins are down there. Mm-hmm. And, and then, of course, Jim's right at that corner yep. uh, where all the traffic's coming through. So you, you can't miss that. So j- just get there early enough that you can hit everything that you want to hit. Exactly. Love to have you over. Exactly. I cannot wait. All right, buddy. About uh, an hour into this, I know you got stuff to do, but I appreciate you coming on as always. And we're definitely going to do this. September, you know, because we we'll have games then. Maybe yeah. we can, before then, we'll see if if we uh, our lives actually slow down a little bit. We can we can do this more often. But Cap, it's always a pleasure. Got a last uh, couple of party words to Who Day Nation before you jump off here. Well, I know uh, if if you didn't plan on it, you need to. But uh, the uh, the the tour, the stadium tour. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna go live. I I well I will be I don't know because I'll be coming back from vacation. I'm mean, going to be going to Florida. I think I'll be back in time to go, but I'm not sure. That's why I haven't RSVP'd or anything. That's all. all that's the only reason I, I don't know if we're going to be there or not. So, okay. You'll be going live. And yeah. maybe if you're going live, maybe Strawberry Ice will make it a, a background appearance on, on the, you know, the Blind Tiger. Who knows? There we go. There we go. Yep. I'm going to try to throw some footballs to some fans. So, if you see the uh, big orange ugly suit. <laughs> I, ha- I have to get it. I-, I have to get it rolling. Who, I have not you, done yet. 
I, you, you got you, you got a new a new uh, a new jacket coming? Do you? Because I know you talked about it. Oh, oh, look out now! This is this is high quality breaking news here. You know, because he's been talking about this uh, for at least a year or more that I know of about trying to get um, a new jacket or. I, I wonder. I wonder if we can actually see this. Probably. So th- this is the old one kind of dismantled. Right. Okay. Um, yep. no, one, no one's really ever seen how gross this is. <laughs> Up close to personal, baby. <laughs> there you go. Let's see. Yeah, it's high quality right there. Some of the fading. Mm-hmm. But I was shocked at how long. Look at the color difference. Oh, wow. I can tell already just from the – Woo! Yeah. Well, it's outside, and, it, you know, the heat sun does stuff to things, you know. Oh, yeah. And I, I won't even tell you what this smells like. <laughs> oh, you've told me off the air before, so I already know. Dude. So, question. I've got to figure did, something did you, out. Did, did you get the inside done like you wanted to? Um. So – I'm going to I'm going to try to reach out to Pursuit, and I I, I want that Ring of Honor inside yeah. on a jacket. Mm-hmm. But because back with the COVID stuff, mm-hmm. um, they basically had you pay for the suit online and then come for an appointment. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. they're not cheap, right? Yeah, like I, I got to see if the the color matches what I want. Right, right. Because what that's going to be is that's going to be my my nice jacket that I wear to events and whatever. And I also want to see if they could actually do a, a black uh, lapel. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, if they can and get that lining, that'd be sweet. Now, this one, I will not ever be wearing a seven hundred dollars suit jacket to a football game. <laughs> I am not rolling in that kind of money. I'm doing okay, <laughs> but that is fu money and. No, come on, Cap. What's the worst that could happen at a Bengals game with your jacket? I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, people have accidentally ripped off parts of my jacket. Oh, oh, that, that's what that's incredible. You, you, you crack me up because sometimes I'm like, hey, what's up, Cap? Oh, that's just glued on. Be, be careful. But, oh, my bad, Cap. <laughs> so, somebody, somebody will catch me at the tailgate and get too excited and just rip something off. Oh, my God, I, carry, Captain. I carry super glue. So while it's still drying, you know, <laughs> Ice Man will come up and shake me. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> I'm like, Cap, what's up, buddy? <laughs> and I can't, you know, I can't get mad because I mean that's what we do. It's a football exactly. game. Exactly. But I do try to keep things together as much as possible. <laughs> and it barely that playoff run and that Super Bowl was so exciting, it barely made it through. <laughs> it was it's, a lot it's of finally fun. like it's glued and taped and and Bobby pinned and I'm like, all right, I need a new jacket. And the crazy thing is they kind of stopped making that color for a while. Really? I thought I was going to have to go with a new persona. <laughs> what, 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 what would be the other persona? I mean, would you like shave the beard? Just go completely bald man. No, I, you know what? I, if I could tuck it in, I would do Deadpool because then I could say whatever I wanted and it would be funny and not weird. <laughs> That's my beard. dream. <laughs> Oh God! All right. Well, Augie has one last comment for you. He goes, "I can hear him now." Don't pee on my truck. <laughs> I was so mad. I can't believe he almost did it, <laughs> dude. He didn't even look over his shoulder. All sly, thinking, "Yeah, this is yeah. the truck. I got it. Right, that's that guy. I, I, I want to piss all over it, huh?" <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bring a squirt gun, <laughs> like a dog. Anybody hikes their leg, I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It was a hey, good. It wasn't him. Oh, he oh, says it wasn't him. <laughs> so that means it was you. <laughs> I didn't do it. I wasn't me. I wasn't there. Anyway. All right. Hey, Cap, good to man. see you, Crypt. I, yep. I appreciate you, brother. We'll be on. Like I said, we're going to do this again. This will be a lot of fun. Check out Blind Bengal. Are you, is there a certain time you're on or you just do it whenever you feel like it? So lately it's been Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Um, I, I'm unhappy with my Twitter handle, the B Tiger uh, show. Uh, I feel like it's just waiting for jokes. The B tiger, like what happened to the A tiger or what's the B stand for or, uh, but there's already a, a blind tiger. There's still, like there's stuff I, I can think of that. I'm not seeing over the air. <laughs> oh, I, I can read your mind. Yeah. I thought about it. I'm like, you know, uh, the blind tiger's taken, 
Uh, Blind Tiger shows taken. The Blind Tiger show won't fit. Hmm. I'm like, ah, screw it. You know, here we go. But uh, yeah, uh, the B Tiger show on Twitter, uh, the Blind Tiger show.com. There is a website. Dang. Um, you can reach me, Bengals Captain, at the Blind Tiger show.com. There's an email to it, too. Ooh. Uh, I've done a lot more work than it appears <laughs> when you watch <laughs> the show. <laughs> um, yeah, Bengals and Bourbon and Who Day Baby. Mm-hmm. are the esteemed uh, co-hosts they do a much better job than i do their backgrounds are better they're not random books <laughs> and like plain wall like i'm working on that but uh so far yeah well i think we'll we'll probably end up doing a little bit of weird stuff no a quick recap sunday night probably tuesday probably you know i don't want to commit to anything but it's it's probably going to be a late Monday or late-ish Tuesday show. Well, as long, long as you're not at five thirty after Bengals game, so you meet and still do our thing. Absolutely, I'm still committed to uh, the Ice Man. Yeah, baby. Right, All right buddy. I gotta roll All on right. out of here because I'm supposed to go jump on somebody else's show at seven o'clock. So, oh, have fun. Hey, where where are you jumping? Uh, Kieran. You are uh, Kieran. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's doing. He... Yeah, he's doing his podcast uh, start at seven o'clock. So. Yeah, he always asks really good questions. He's awesome, dude. Tell him I said, hey. I will. Take it easy, man. See you. All right, later. All right, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Because Bengals Cap is one of my boys. So much fun to get to talk to him. And like I said, he is busy. I mean, he doesn't even, I call him and he doesn't even answer. Now, it might be just because he doesn't want to talk to me. I don't know. Maybe he just ignores me. I'm not sure. Whatever. But, you know, I've texted him, called him, whatever. <laughs> but he is busy, guys. So, anyway, let's, let's get to the basic group set. Let me live stream, and I appreciate every single one of them. They're Who Day Nation, Who Day Legion, Cincinnati Reds, Riding Third, Heading for Home, Bearcat Ruckus, Bearcat Country, the Ohio State Bucks. Thanks, Bar, and you follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Sports with Strawberry Ice. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Twitter handles at Jeff A. Trinopole. TikTok is at Iceman90. I will be pulling off the sound later on tonight, put it on the podcast. So if you guys missed any of the show, you don't want to go back and watch it, you want to listen to it, check it out. It'll be on B-Pod, Apple iTunes, Spotify, Google, Stitcher Play, pretty much wherever you get your podcasts. Please make sure you rate, like, and review. Give me a five-star review. I would greatly appreciate it. YouTubers, you guys are awesome. I know I have not done as many shows, but my numbers still keep going up, which is unbelievable. I'm at 1,729 subscribers. That is awesome, and as always, I appreciate every single one of you guys because it wasn't for you guys. I would have no reason to do a show. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Probably going back on tomorrow. Got to find somebody to talk to. Or maybe just you, be you and me talking. I don't know. We'll see. But it'll probably be my last one before I go on vacation. Yes, I know. I go on vacation a lot. Which, I really, I just went on vacation in March. So, and this is June. So, it wasn't like that. You know, there was a, you know, a distance of when I went on vacation. Anyway, hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And say it with me, people. Or maybe get around. There we Say it with me, people. That's just sports, baby. See ya! Sparks gonna fly The beast is awake Orange, black and white Cause when the jungle come alive Who day we ignite in us Cincinnati we gon' rise in us In the jungle we unite in us Dripping orange and black and white Who day when we fight Live and die in the stripes Wake up the feast Every damn day is a feast Time to bust it off the leash In the jungle dripping heat Tigers strike the city streets Cincinnati jungle fitted, who they in our
Nah.